everyone. Welcome to Everyday Affairs, where we bring you all trending news and information on things happening around the world. I appreciate every one of you who has subscribed to this channel. However, if you're yet to subscribe, kindly click on the subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen, written in red, subscribe, and also hit the bell icon by its side so that you can get notification whenever a new story is published. Thank you and stay tuned. Presidency tells Khan Buhari won't remove service chiefs despite insecurity. The presidency has ruled out the possibility of removing heads of the armed forces amidst worsening insecurity in the country. The presidency made this declaration on Friday against the background of the outpost of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, over the murder of the chairman of the association's branch in Michika, local government area of Adamawa State, Reverend Lawan Andimi by Boko Haram. The association had addressed the World Press Conference on Thursday through its president, Dr. Samson Ayokunle, where it observed that the country's security system had failed and therefore asked President Muhammad Buhari to overhaul it and appoint visionary military officers to head the armed forces and other security agencies. As long as the government continues to live in denial and fail to face the reality, these criminals will not stop their criminalities. We are almost losing hope in government's ability to protect Nigerians, especially Christians who have become endangered species under its watch, Khan said. It equally rejected President Buhari's reaction to Andimi's killing and then accused the federal government of complicity in what it called the prevailing attacks on the church. But a special advisor to the president on media and publicity, Mr. Femi Adeshina, took it to his Facebook page on Friday and slammed Khan for its critical stance against the government. Are you saying under a different leadership of our security forces, insurgency will vanish after they wave their fingers? Why mix the wheat and chaff together? If the leadership of the security forces would be changed, it is a sitting president that has the prerogative. It will not happen when Khan begins to make such demand in what should be a sober condolence press statement. Don't mix bias and sympathy. They don't mesh, he said. Additional, in, a lengthy, in his lengthy Facebook post, said, Khan got it wrong on its position on the beheaded Adamawa cleric, declaring that too many things were mixed together, which the apex Christian body in the country should have been mindful of lest it departs from the mind and essence of Jesus Christ, our perfect example. Khan says kidnappings and killings are shameful to a government that boasts that it has conquered insurgency. Boasts. So that is all that matters to Khan? As if it was an opposition political party, boasts, no, this would not augur for unity and cohesion in a country. We are not asking the Christian body to be in bed with government. That would not help anybody. But the organization has been sounding too long like a political party. We daily learn to walk with Christ. His spirit is not an unduly critical one. And he left us an example that ye should follow in his steps, the presidential aide said. Buhari leading a government of condolence, Nigerian Christian Graduate Fellowship, says, reacting on Friday to the presidential spokesman's statement, the Nigerian Christian Graduate Fellowship asked the presidency if it was not worried about the Buhari government had become a government of condolence. The Christian group statement 
signed by its national president, Professor Charles Adisa, and General Secretary, Mr. Onyen, Mr. Onyene Nachi Oeguro, reads in part, We have just read the reaction of the federal government to the press statement by the Christian Association of Nigeria on the killing of Khan Chairman, Michika Lugu government, Adamawa State, Reverend Lawan Antimi. Through the special advisor to the President on Media and Publicity, Mr. Femi Hadeshino. We are supposed we are surprised, I beg your pardon, that Mr. Adeshino, who is supposed to be a Christian, could take up the godlet to vilify his brothers and fathers in the Lord just to please his master on an issue that should have made him sober over the plight of his brethren. For Adeshino, what matters is the happiness of his master not the interest of his brethren. We can't imagine the people like Adeshino cannot play Nehemiah, but continually play Sambalat over the destiny of the brethren. On the argument that President Buhari sympathized and sympathizes with bereaved families, should it not be a worry to the president's image maker that theirs have become a government of condolence? Can he count how many of such condolence messages he has released in the last four years over avoidable calamities if the government is serious? Khan said that Reverend Andemi stayed two weeks with his captors and called on the government to come to his aid. Does it not worry additional that rather than take steps to rescue the preacher, the government was quick to send the government was quick to send a condolence message to the family, which is more important to rescue the victim or to sympathize with the family? We are sure that the president is waiting to see the video of the beheading of another Christian so that additional would be instructed to issue a condolence, of course, that is, the che that is cheaper than paying ransom. Come to think of it, why can't the image makers advised Mr. President to look into the national complaint on the need to review his security management policy with a view to changing his team in order to rejig the system. Why is Mr. President giving himself out as one who does not listen to public opinion? What is special about the service chiefs that he cannot disengage them if not that they are serving his selfish interests? It is unfortunate that the president's spokesmen do not understand the power of public opinion, but are well schooled in the opposite, which is propaganda. Mr. Adeshino should know that propaganda does not sustain any system for too long. Finally, on the general security situation in the country, does it not occur to Adeshino that he is deluded to believe that the government is winning the war against insurgency? He is not saying that whatever seemed to be the magic and gains of 2015 has been reversed in 2019? Yes, there are no incident bomb explosions, but the number of Nigerians killed by Boko Haram and Fulani headsmen between 2018 and 2019 is far higher than the numbers of 2009 to 2014. Can additional check available records both within and outside the country? Also, on Friday, two flagship Fulani groups descended heavily on Khan for asking for the labeling of the Mieti Alakato Breeders Association Magban as a terrorist organization and for calling the arrest of its leaders for alleged various killings around the country. All right, viewers and listeners, that's the news story so far. You've heard uh, what the Khan chairman has come out to say. Well, it is appalling to find out that the service chiefs who had been appointed when President Muhammad Bari came in are still the ones serving till date, despite um, the persistent um, killings of people and the persistent oppression of insurgents in the northern part of the country especially. It will only be expected that 
it will only be expected that um, the service chiefs will be removed and some other people will be um, uh, will be appointed since these service chiefs seem to have failed and uh, they have not really achieved enough or achieved results that would please the citizens of this country. But despite all these issues, they are still there earning salaries, you know, probably engaging in the same routine and achieving no good results. Now, the current chairman has come out to say that these people should be changed. But in defense of the government, the special advisor to the president on the media and publicity has come out to say that uh, they will not be changed and that it is not in the place of the Christian Association of Nigeria Khan uh, leadership to tell the president what to do uh, about the service chiefs. Well, one, one can see that Mr. Deshina is just doing his job or just speaking, you know, to defend the government that uh, he is being paid to do. Because if he is actually patriotic, he would buy the idea of the current president that the service chiefs needs to be changed. So what can be done on this particular issue? What do you think should be done on this particular issue? You know, uh, the service chiefs, for me, I believe they also be changed and some others, you know, recruited, appointed, and uh, be given resources to actually perform. Because if we want insurgency to be a thing of the past in this country, then the president must act fast and do the needful because lives and properties are being destroyed almost daily in the northern part of the country. It is only uh, a government that is unserious, you know, that will continue to uh, send condolence messages or uh, will not be tired of sending condolence messages to families of the bereaved. Let's not forget that this present administration, while they were yet to come on board, you know, were accusing the former administration of not doing anything about the security situation of the country. Now they have been, uh, they are in government, one would expect that they would do much more, you know, like the statistics in the news says, the killings between 2018 and 2019, the numbers of killings by Boko Haram and Hetzman, you know, it has been said to be far greater and much more than the killings that happened between 2009 and 2014. So it goes further to tell uh, everyone that this present administration has not done enough to curtail the, the, the security challenges to reduce the killings in the north. <laughs>